Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to review Flex Pro Meals. And we will taste their food right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload new new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So recently we received an email from a company called Flex Pro Meals. And uh, what they are is they're a meal delivery service. And they asked if we would be willing to try out some of their products and give a review on them. Absolutely. We are willing to try your products. And I definitely think that there is a market for this in the keto community. People want some grab and go options, maybe something that they could buy ahead and take with them on a trip. I mean, I think it's really cool. Yeah, there's a few meal delivery services in our area, but most of them actually don't uh, have keto options. They have paleo options. Gluten. They have gluten-free options. They have vegan options. But none of them that I have seen in our area yet have a keto option. I actually think there's one that just started with keto. Really? Because I'm not even aware of it. So, yeah. So um, let's go over. It came in a very simple box. When I was at work, Rachel unpacked it. Everything came packed in dry ice. Mm -hmm. And so what we'll do is we'll roll that footage right here of you undoing it. So, oh my goodness, this box came in the mail today. Flex Pro Meals. This looks like an occasion. This thing is giant. I love it. Now, normally I would wait for Joe to come home before I open the box so that we could share the moment together, but I could tell there was some things in need of freezing going on inside this box. So yeah, let me move the dry ice aside without burning myself. And let's see what we've got here from Flex Pro. There are some keto breakfast burgers. Definitely some nice individual size boxes. I don't know what this one is. It's unmarked, but I'm assuming it's another breakfast burger because there seems to be a lot of those. Um, this here is a keto meatballs. Let's see what those look like. Looks like meatballs with broccoli. Looking pretty good. It looks like a meatball. And then finally, it looks like we have some keto chicken parm. I am really excited to try these guys out. Okay, so there's three different kinds of food in here. It came with, uh, this is a keto chicken parmesan. What do you got over there? Keto breakfast burger. And then this one is a keto meatballs. Now before we do our five things review and try it, I did want to go onto their website. So their website has several other flavors. So I was just going to kind of go through them. Um, they have a cauliflower pizza. Aww. They have the keto chicken parmesan. They have a keto steak and veggies, a cedar plank salmon, keto breakfast burger. Wow. A keto chicken bacon ranch, a keto Mongolian beef, the keto meatballs. And then they also have protein bakery, which is like, I guess like muffins and things like that. Nice. Okay. They also have it when you get it because they have like low calorie, they have lean muscle, they have keto, they have different kinds. When you do order it, you can order it two different ways as a fat trimmer where each meal is three to 400 calories or as a lean muscle where each meal is five to 700 calories. Oh, and I see that they've given us fat trimmers. Oh, okay. Yep. So that's right on here. It says fat trimmer. So uh, not much as far as instructions. I know they're all microwavable. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go microwave all of these. We're going to bring them back and we're going to try each one of them. Okay. Here we go. We've got three different ones. How long did they cook for? Um, I had them in there for like four or five minutes because they're all frozen. So. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go over each one and then we're going to taste each one. These are like compostable plant fiber cartons. Oh, so they're not going to add to like litter and garbage. Yeah. Okay. So this is the chicken parmesan. This one is in a regular plastic one. That one's in a regular we plastic one. We don't care one. so much about this one. <laughs> so this is the chicken parmesan. This is the, what is it called? The breakfast burger? Yeah. Breakfast burger. We have a couple of the, each one, so 
That's the mm. breakfast burger. It and it looks like, like some eggs on top of some kind of a burger. And then these. And then that is, what is that? Meatballs. That is meatballs. Keto meatballs. Okay. So do you want to try them and then we'll go through each thing? Yeah, let's try them. Which one are we going to start with? They're not super appetizing looking, okay. but then a lot of microwave stuff isn't. Which one do you want to start with? Right, well, this one's over here, so let me try that. Okay. So this is the meatballs. This is called... Uh, I want to pull it up. Fat trimmer meal. Keto meatballs. Keto meatballs. Okay. I'm going to just click on the details as we eat this. Balls. Balls. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. Dink. Dink. Mm-hmm. Honestly. It tastes like a healthy choice meal. It's got a pretty good flavor. Mm-hmm. It's got a, it's, it's in a, it says they are keto beef meatballs baked fresh and drowned in our homemade Swedish sauce. Did you say drowned? Yes, it says drowned. Okay. So, yeah, and the ingredients are beef meatballs, Swedish sauce, and green veggies. There's broccoli. And there, <laughs> it's broccoli. I don't need to try broccoli. It's broccoli. It's, it's good. I mean, it tastes like, um, like a healthy choice meal, lean cuisine. Okay. That kind of thing. The, the sauce has got a kick. To it though, yeah, it's got a little bit of a spice to it. Yeah, I always think of Swedish as not spicy but very kind of sweet. I feel like it more of an, a mushroom base, very to similar to like the Swedish meatballs you would get if you went to IKEA. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking, but that's not what I'm getting, right? Okay, what's next? So, um, we're gonna put that to the side. Breakfast, breakfast, okay. So, this is supposed to be eggs. So Turkey, let me pull it up. I'm sausage. Gonna let you put it up. Let's see what kind of, I don't know what kind of meat that is. And hollandaise sauce. It's turkey. It is a turkey burger with fried eggs, cheddar, a hollandaise, salt, and pepper. Okay. It's a nice sized sausage. I don't know. I feel like you're going to eat a little bit of this package. I probably, maybe I overcooked it a little bit. But it's okay. It's, com it's compostable. Ooh. It's stuck to the bottom. This is, I guess this must be the hollandaise sauce. It's cheese. But it's like, I don't know. Ready? A little wonky. Mm. It's turkey sausage. I'm not a huge turkey sausage fan. It's kind of like turkey sausage, but it's a turkey burger. Oh, there's a lot of vegetables in that burger. Yeah, like there's I don't like, know if you can. I can see, I can see them. It looks like spinach, and I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely got a spice to it. Not as much as the meatball. No, but it's got a spice to it. It's not bland. It's got some flavor. It definitely has some flavor. Yeah, because we didn't put any salt or anything. No like salt, that on no that. nothing. And it's the got... eggs are. I don't really consider this a fried egg. No, it. That it's, is not a fried egg. It's one of those eggs that you would buy in like the sleeve of eggs already done. I want to see. I didn't really get to taste this hollandaise sauce. Let's just try it. No egg. Just just kind of scrape a little bit off. And honestly, the the not sauce really cheesy. is the sauce itself. Isn't bad, but there's so little of it. It's kind of bland. It's you're not getting it into like the burger. The burger, the flavors of the burger, like are overwhelming the sauce. Now remember, hollandaise sauce is just egg and butter. Like I taste a lot of oregano and spinach. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. Chicken parmesan. Okay. And this is like a cauliflower mashed potato. So yeah, it looks like there is some cauliflower mashed potatoes and a piece of chicken. So, and the chicken looks like it has some tomato sauce on it. Oh, because it's supposed to be parm. Okay. Okay. Ready? Dink. That. No. That cauliflower. What is that? It tastes like baby food a little bit. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Not a good way. It tastes like cauliflower. It doesn't, it's very watery. Mm, I'm not digging that. I'm not digging that one at all. Okay. Probably this one is the best. I think that's the best but one. But it's spicy. So if you're not a spicy person. Yeah. And the um, containers are dissolving all over our There's table. a lot of like 
moisture. Water condensation, condensation getting all over our table. Let's, I'm going to have another meatball, though. The meatballs are pretty good. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so you want, let's put this to our five things. So our five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does a keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Okay, so not a whole lot of information. There's nothing really on the packaging. So I'm going to apologize up front, but we want to make sure we get everything right. Right. So I'm going to have to refer to the website a lot. Mm -hmm. So Like okay. there's not even cooking directions. There's no cooking directions and there's no cooking directions on the website. Okay. <laughs> Let's go over the way this works before we even get into this. Okay, so basically what happens is you go to the website. I will leave a link for their website down below. We are not affiliated with them. They've just sent it to us, asked us if we would review it. Sure. You basically choose your meals, whether you want low calorie, lean muscle, VIP programs, where if you commit to several weeks, they'll give you a discount. Mm -hmm. Then they have the keto. They have a name your price, I guess, where you can tell them how much you want to spend and they'll kind of fit it into your Five dollars. <laughs> $5 a month. And then I guess they have a referral program, which we are not a part of. Okay. So what happens is, is you order your meals. Okay. Looking on their website. If you order it by Tuesday, it ships on Wednesday. It delivers Thursday, Friday, possibly Saturday. Well, that's nice and quick. So, and you have to order a minimum of 10 meals. Okay. And then we'll go over the prices when we get into everything. So we're going to go, we're going to start talk first with the breakfast burger. Okay. Uh, and so as far yeah. as ingredients, the only thing it lists as ingredients are turkey burger, fried eggs, cheddar, hollandaise, salt, and pepper. The only thing is there's a lot going on in this turkey burger. I don't know what They're not this, telling us what's in it. There's definitely. They're not telling us what's in the hollandaise. Yeah. Um, so what is the hollandaise made out of? I mean, I know what hollandaise is supposed to be made out of, eggs and butter. But it's not but, buttery or eggy. Like, there's definitely some other ingredients in here. Yeah. Well, the sauce, again, I don't, the, the sauce, I think it's just eggs and butter, but there could be some thickeners in there. Yeah. As that's far as the saying. burger, what's in the burger? I have, I have no idea. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a whole like confetti colors, like red and green. Yeah. It's all kinds of vegetables that are making the, the burger. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the keto meatballs. Um, it says, you have that keto meatball package over oh, here? Right oh, here. okay. This so, just seems to be a little bit larger. I, I don't know if this is like the, the dinner option and like maybe that's breakfast and lunch. No, they're all the same, it looks like. Oh. So that, the ingredients it says are beef meatballs, Swedish sauce, and green veggies. Once again, it's not telling us what's in the sauce. It doesn't tell us what's in the meatballs. And the and the sauce is definitely, like, it's spicy, but it's a sweet spicy. Right. So there's definitely a sweetener in here of some sort. Yep. And finally, let's move on. We have the chicken parmesan. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> And again, nothing really on the label. This is the breakfast burger. So again, nothing really on the label other than the carbs, the fat, the protein. It does say here ingredients, chicken, Parmesan, marinara sauce, Kali mash and salt, which is what's on the website. But like, what is making up their Kali mash? Is it, doesn't it say just that. cauliflower? Is there any butter in this? Is there any milk in this? It doesn't say what's in the marinara sauce or anything like that. Yeah. Okay. I don't like that. So uh, ingredients, I really can't answer you on how healthy they are because the ingredients are kind of sketchy. They're not really telling us what the ingredients of each meal no, is. No, I mean you're not. They're not giving you the fiber. They're saying carbs fifteen. Is that well? That's the key. Let's move on to that's number two. Okay. So number two is does it keto based on the nutrition label? I honestly don't know that I can tell you that answer either. Well, that is going to be my issue. So there is no nutrition label on any of these products. Uh, the nutrition label, if you look, whether it be on the website or on this little label here, and we'll show you a little breakfast burger, um, that's the label. So uh, all it says is there's 30 grams of protein, 35 grams of fat, and five total carbohydrates. Well, it doesn't even say they're total. It just no, says it five say carbs. Total. So I don't know how much fiber. I don't know what the percentage of the fat is. I mean, I am happy to see that at least on the breakfast burger, there's more fat than protein. So that's a good thing. Um, but it does say five carbs. I don't even have an issue with the five carbs because this is, you know, not super. But what are the carbs coming from? Yeah, but this one, this chicken parm, 15 carbs. There's 15 carbs in this? There's 15 carbs in a little wow. bit of cauliflower and so chicken that's not breaded. So to me, that means that you're using a marinara sauce that most likely has a bunch of sugar in it. 
Wow. Because I don't know how you're getting 15 carbs out of this. And which is really weird because this one is 10 carbs. And I was thinking this that is going to be one definitely, the one. I, and I would say there's, again, that sauce has to have some sugar in it for 10 carbs. Yeah. It, it absolutely does. I got to look at this again. So, okay, so we'll go over the nutrition that they give us. This is 25 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat, 15 carbs. Again, and, and oh, by the way, it does say this is 250 calories. So I'm really, like, now I'm looking at 15 carbs to 250 calories. That's a lot. Like, that's a lot. This seems like... And then uh, the breakfast burger, by the way, is 455 calories. Wow. Which, that's a decent breakfast. Yeah. I'll give them that. 455 calories, five carbs. That's doable. But, I mean, like, this doesn't seem keto to me at all as far as what the, the ratios are. No, it definitely isn't. Um, and then this one here, the, the Swedish meatballs, is 365 calories, 25 protein, 25 fat, 10 carbs. Honestly, I would say that these do not keto based on a nutrition label. My personal opinion, for some other people, you know, I a lot of people do have the attitude of if it, if it fits in my macros. If you're willing to spend 15 carbohydrates on this and only have a few carbs the rest of the day, I can understand that. I'm just not sure if I can believe the carb count and like the all that that they're giving me. It's hard for me to really get behind that because I don't know the ingredients. The, I, the ingredient label is way too short for me to be able to go down. Like, is there maltodextrin? A lot of times, like I will look at a product. I, people ask us all the time, like, have you blood sugar tested that? Have you done a glucose test on that? I only glucose test things when I look at the ingredient list of something and I'm like, that's a sketchy ingredient. Or like if it has maltodextrin, sometimes I'll still willing to have it if it's like way down on the bottom of the list, but I want to see how it affects me. If I know every ingredient and I know all of those ingredients are not going to affect my glucose, there's no reason for me to glucose test. But with this, I don't know what the ingredients are. Well, and here's the thing. I don't want to have to test like and see not after a meal like this after i'm eating chicken and cauliflower right like really should that be something that i have to be worried about yeah I'm enough to be worried about well let's move on because yeah i i would definitely say it doesn't keto based on a nutrition label at least from what we can see yeah so number three how does it taste it tastes like a healthy choice meal or a lean cuisine meal i can totally see this being like somebody purchasing this because it's like, this is the keto onboarding meal plan. Like mm -hmm. if I don't know how to keto, I'm going to buy the keto meal plan and then I'm going to have a month worth of food right. for keto. And it's going to taste like a familiar diet type food, right? You're right. used to like a Nutrisystem or a healthy choice or a lean cuisine or something. You get these little meals. The, Jenny Craig. Well, like, that's what I was going to say. As somebody who eat. did Jenny Craig years ago, I did it in college. I did it then as an adult. I would equate this to Jenny Craig quality food. It's better than Nutrisystem food. Well, that, I'm, that's a whole nother issue. But, but yeah, I would equate this to Jenny Craig quality food or healthy choice quality food. This one actually doesn't taste bad. No. I would even say this one doesn't taste bad. Not my cup of tea. I, I don't like all the veggies comprising the burger. Well, This one, yuck. Well, and here's the thing. Like, I'm on keto, so I could have like pork sausage. Yeah. Pork sausage and turkey sausage in a fight, like pork sausage wins every time. I, I really feel like they, they say that these are keto, but I don't know if they understand like keto is high fat, moderate protein, low carb. I mean, you can kind of say they're low carb, but they're not low enough for at least some of them, some of them are lower than others. I, I can get behind a five carb meal. 10 and 15 is kind of getting up there for me, but they're not high fat. I mean, and you could have increased the flavor a lot by throwing a couple tablespoons of butter into these. I feel like they're sort of capitalizing on the keto craze and not really doing the legwork to find out like what does that actually mean. They're just trying to service everybody on every diet. Right. And so they're like, here, yes, we do have a keto option. Yeah. But well, they have other options as well. Right. So, but I just don't know. I mean, they're, they're low calorie. I mean, if you drink, if you eat three of these, you're pretty much, you're not even at a thousand calories for the day, but you're 25 carbs and I don't know. Like I would rather 
like talk to somebody who's probably like on keto that's making a meal type plan like this for themselves. I don't think that the person who's making this is 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 paleo and keto and right. vegan and gluten free and all. You know what I mean? Like they're not eating their food. I don't think so. Okay, well that that's the taste. So number four, how much does it cost? Okay, so. This is lean cuisine, healthy choice level food. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that if I want to eat lean cuisine and healthy choice, I could just go to the store and get it. And they usually have like five for 10 sales or three for 10, depending on the size of the meal. Okay. So is that like the range? $9.99 a piece. Every one of them. $10? $10 for every one of these. And then the protein bakery, which is 25 treats, and we don't have any of those, so I don't know how big they are or anything like that. Like 25 cupcakes. Um, it looks like they're protein-packed Oreo balls, uh, homemade Snickers, cookie dough delights, peanut butter crunch, Nutella bites, and so much more. But it doesn't, they just, I don't like know how big they are. It looks like they're fitting into this thing. It looks like they're fitting in that, and there would be 25 of them. And that is $40. No, it's not. Yes. Are you serious? $40 for those 25 treats. 25. Okay, look, so it looks like there's five or six of them each one. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so probably five in each one. So five muffins in each one for $40. $40. So. You're smoking crack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel bad, Maybe but... cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... I think they're really expensive. Me too. And I mean, I know that we're kind of cheap. We're thrifty. But I'm looking here at $10, 20 30 40 50 60 worth of food. For that for two days. There's no way if I ate all of it, I might be full. But maybe. Well, here's what I'm looking at. So let's look at one day. $10, $20, $30. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 15 carbs. 5 carbs. 10 carbs, that's 30 carbs. I don't know if those carbs are net or, to or, or total. I have a feeling the net is close to the total because based on what they're saying are the ingredients, none of these should be more than three or four carbs. No. So I think there's a lot of sugar in it in there. And where I'm gonna go, you th you're talking about you think we're cheap. For $30, I could go to Buffalo Wild Wings and get a whole mess of wings, have like triple the calories. Because let's not forget, these three combined are... Are, they're a thousand calories, right? 500, 360, and 250. We're at a thousand calories for $30. I would much rather go to Buffalo, Buffalo Wild Wings, get a bunch of wings, three times as many calories, and only be at like five total carbs out of the whole meal. Yeah, because I mean, everybody doesn't cook. Right. I can totally see the need for, you know, easy convenience meals. However, if you have a $10 per meal budget, I'd be like Buffalo Wild Wings, Five Guys, Chipotle, Fuddruckers. Like yeah. you could go to a different place every, yeah. every day. I mean, heck, Chipotle. A Chipotle bowl is $10. I can get three Chipotle bowls and again, be triple my calories for the day and be full because I personally can't finish a Chipotle bowl. <laughs> wuss um but like and if you're afraid to go into a restaurant because maybe you're at the beginning of a you know keto diet you could have a quest pizza you yeah. could get real good foods there's lots of options that are like grab and go where at least you could flip over and see the, ingredients, see the ingredients label are. yeah just way too expensive for what you're getting so number five would we recommend this i feel like that answer is becoming painfully obvious. Yeah, I I mean, I greatly appreciate Flex Pro Meals for sending this out to us. Yeah. Um, but the one thing we've always said is we have to be honest. You know, that's just part of our ethics. And, and I just, I can't in good conscience recommend this. It, the, the food doesn't taste horrible. No. It tastes okay. This but when I care. factor in everything else, when I factor in... What the, the the lack of ingredients? I factor in the fact that um, you know the carbs and the fat to protein ratio isn't super keto. No. Then add in that it's expensive. I just can't get behind this. <laughs> Me neither. And I just I don't like not knowing what's in it. There's a little just there's too many question marks for me. And for somebody who can easily be triggered, and I I do have like problems with food. I don't like being out of control. Right. 
What I would say if Flex Pro Meals is watching this is what I would like to see you guys do is work a little bit more on this. Maybe cut out the sugar, use some like this, whatever you're using for sweeteners, use some alternative sweeteners like monk fruit extract or stevia. Um, bump up the fat. You know, you don't even have to lower the protein. Just bump up the fat, bump up the calories. I like to see each one of these at like 700 calories. Most women should be eating 12 to 1500 calories. This wouldn't be 1200 calories. And no. that's 12 to 1500 calories is light. What am I supposed to do as a man? This may just be like low carb. They're thinking that it's just lower carb. Right. And that's not It's what not keto. low enough for keto. No. 15 carbs is not low enough for keto. None of the meals should be more than five to six total carbs or yeah. net carbs, really. Yeah. So, Well, um, that is our video for today. Uh, let us know down in the comment section if you guys have ever tried uh, Flex Pro Meals or if you've ever tried any of the other meal delivery services, whether it's ones that deliver food like this or the ones like Blue Apron or something where they ship it to you. And if you have and there's one you'd like us to try, let us know down in the comment section. We'll try to reach out to the company and see if we can uh, get them to send us some stuff. Yeah. So like I said, that is our video. So please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.